What is up, YouTube? It's your boy King Joe back with a brand new video. And today's story is about uh, how a very young high school basketball player lost his life uh, after his game. And then I get ready and let's go see that video, man. You would never expect this to happen. You play a full game, the game ends, and something just terrible happens. Especially after hitting the game winning shot just a few seconds before. Well, it did. This high school player went up for the game winning shot, hit it, and died right after. What is going on everybody? It is Handles and I know, I know, I've been slacking and it's completely my fault but I promise this time I'll be grinding out videos for you guys so we can get to that goal of 100,000 subscribers and I have something special for you guys planned in so let's try to get there fast. But anyways, today's video is about Wes Leonard. He attended Fenville High School and was the most talented player on his high school football team. But he wasn't just a football player, he was a school's star basketball player as well. He was just naturally talented. Wes was 6'2 and the school's point guard. He averaged 19 points, 3.2 assists, 9.4 rebounds, 1.2 steals, and 1.6 blocks per game. He was just a great player, uh, he always worked hard and always hustled. So Wes led the team to a perfect season, but it was their last game the right third. before the playoffs the, against the, the supposedly best team really in their, good. their good. region. Fenville wanted to prove everybody yeah, wrong by beating them keep and keeping the their perfect game. record. Yeah. They were 20-0 leading into this game. So the game started and Wes was already on fire. He was killing them. And as the final seconds came, Fenville and Bridgman were tied 55-55. So as Fenville brought the ball up, they tried wasting time by just passing it around. But that led to an open lane for Wes. He drove in and had an easy wide open layup. Bridgman came back down the court and missed a shot letting Fenville complete their perfect season right before the playoffs. The game ended and everybody was celebrating and hugging West for hitting that game winning shot. His teammates picked him up and started chanting, but only a few seconds later, West collapsed on the court. Everyone was in shock. His dad and mom ran over to see him. The dad checked to see if he was breathing, but he wasn't. Everyone in that gym, including West's brother and parents, saw Wes randomly collapse and instantly pass away. Everyone was so confused on what happened, everyone's hands were on their head, and a lot of them were crying as well. But he was rushed to the hospital, but there was nothing the doctors could do to revive him. He was gone. This all happened so fast, especially after he just hit the game winning shot. And I'm sure nobody was expecting it to happen at all. Like that has to be one of the last things that's on your mind after you win the game and hit a game winning shot. Later an autopsy revealed that he died due to an enlarged heart. He had a heart attack right after he hit that game winning shot. And so many players had their lives taken due to an enlarged heart. Like I can pretty sure you can see why Chris Bosh isn't even allowed to play in the NBA. In the next few days everyone was sad. Classmates were writing posters and pasted them around the school in memory of Wes. And in Fenville's first playoff game, they paid tribute to him by wearing t-shirts that said never forget. And on the back of it, it had Wes's last name and number. They even brought out his brother in place of Wes. Fenville somewhat continued their success. They won the district championship, but losing Wes proved to be substantial in the regional semifinals as they were blown out in their final game of the season. The team's goal was to win a championship for Wes. It fell short, but nobody ever forgot about him, and he lived on forever in their memory. Wow, guys, that's the story of this young man's basketball career. That's like sad. Like, imagine his dad, his mom, like, hit the game winner and then he passed away. How would you feel? That's like crazy. Imagine like his brother, like his family. That's like crazy. That is super sad. And I don't know. I don't, that's like a very sad story. If you guys want me to do more videos like this, please comment down below. And um, yeah, that was um, that was pretty sad. But lost his, he lost his life like at a very young age. And that is very, very sad. And don't forget to leave a comment down below and subscribe. I'm on, y'all.